Hello, my name is Jack Downey and today I'm going to be talking to you about my time in the estimating department at Superior Construction. So first, a little about me. I'm currently a student at Purdue University in the Construction and Engineering Management major. Last summer, I interned with Superior Construction located in Portage, Indiana as a member of their estimating department. I grew up in Pennington, New Jersey, which is close to Princeton, and one of my favorite activities is swimming. So the first day I come into the office, my boss sits me down with my fellow interns, and we talk about how we need to develop a new takeoff system for the office to use. These takeoff systems had to be high detailed and had to contain a lot of information. We had to cover point A to point Z on the projects. They also needed to contain a useful instruction sheet to clarify any questions one might have while using them. So what is estimating? Estimating is pretty much finding out how much or how many of something you will need to do so you can determine how to value your bid package. For example, it could be finding out how many concrete pipes you will need on this job so you can determine how much money you're going to spend on concrete pipes in terms of not only the materials but also in the hours it'll take to install them and the labor costs of that. So what is a takeoff? A takeoff pretty much includes two parts, inputs and outputs. Inputs could be your quantities from your design such as your concrete pipe. You could input, input those by individual runs so A, B, C, etc. And then your output could totalize all those runs A through C. It could calculate the total earthwork change, so how much soil you're going to be displacing because you're laying these pipes. It could calculate the man hours spent laying these pipes, and it could even calculate the number of truckloads it would take to move the soil that you've displaced, along with several other things. So why did Superior decide they needed a new system for takeoffs? Basically, they had, a, they had no system before. Every estimator used their own takeoff sheets and it was very hectic when it came to coming together and talking about how they were going to assemble their bid package. This, would this new system would allow for better communication, uniformity, and it would also streamline the process so that everything would be simpler for everyone coming to the table. So a standard day for me entailed a lot of Excel work. I had to make these sheets on Excel, which included generating the formulas to calculate everything, and then testing those formulas against other sheets that had them done correctly so I could ensure that I was calculating said stuff correctly. I also had to work closely with my colleagues, not only to ensure my sheets were right, but to also ensure my sheets included enough information so that it could cover their daily needs whenever they were using them. So here we have an example sheet for small bore pipe. In this sheet we have gray columns, like so. And in these gray columns you will put your inputs, and then you have outputs, like so, in red. So these numbers are all calculated for you. For an example, in column H, we see the hangers, and we see 40 and 6 for the two runs placed in. At the bottom it totalizes the number of total hangers being used. We also see at the bottom there's a miscellaneous section for anything else you might need to account for in your uh, takeoff. And there's even a notes section. Then over here we have a sheet explaining cells A through double D. So pretty much every single one of these letters is a reference to a column before. And every single one of these letters includes information on what we want placed into that column so that there's no confusion. It even includes units. These are the links for images used. Thank you for watching.